guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey Martinez Hans, and I hope you are self isolating or social distancing, whatever they call it these days. And you are staying safe, you are staying indoors, you are adhering to the rules and regulations, even though it changes all the time. A person cannot keep up, to be honest. But we are flattening the curve, each and every one of us. So that is the goal for why we are staying at home. I thought I'd make this video because I've almost been a month into staying at home. It doesn't actually feel that way today, so it's just going by really fast for a lot of people. I see you guys are counting it on Twitter and so many challenges and things like that that's keeping everyone occupied. But I thought besides all those don't rush challenges and wine challenges and everything else, I wanted to take you through um, some of the things that have keeping me sane and going. Fortunately, I'm still working from home, so I know a lot of people, especially Courtney, he does not work from home, so he is finding other ways to keep him entertained. Whereas with me, I go to my office. I do take more breaks than what I would usually do when I'm at work. Also, it's a massive adjustment for someone who doesn't work from home. And then I have to put this into a routine. So I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a mission. It's a lot for someone who doesn't work from home. So yeah, I'll take you through some of the things that have been keeping me sane, entertained, and anyway, please, let me stop babbling and let me tell you what has been keeping me going. First and foremost, reading. I cannot tell you how excited I am to just unwind and read the books that I've purchased for long of time. One of my goals for 2020 was to read a book every month. Obviously, I've started off good and then I ended up being really bad. But I'm now starting to read actively and trying to get my mind into reading something other than <laughs> things about the virus. And this has been really good and I highly recommend you pick up the book and start reading. The second thing that I like doing is listening to podcasts. I know a lot of people like doing po listening to podcasts when they are on the road or in traffic but I actually enjoy podcast when I'm actually working behind my because I'm not used to a very quiet environment I just like having that in the background and listening to the crap that people are talking about I suddenly like the good life and wine time and if you can turn those are the city that I'm actively listening to I'm also listening to the fat wallet which is that money show that I spoke about in my money video I'm doing a Netflix marathon so I know all of us are on Netflix I mean the best thing is to watch TV when you're bored. I actually enjoy re-watching the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> so I'm watching all like 11 seasons of it and it's been nice when I would sit here in the lounge and we are actively watching the Big Bang Theory. Obviously there are new releases that come out in other episodes. Enjoy being bored. I know that sounds dumb as shit. But you know what? Just be bored. Like, stop complaining that you're bored. Like, what I do is, is that when I am bored, if that's what you want to call it, I would actually just stay out on my little balcony and just stay out and in my mind or wonder. I think that is so important to just let, like, just stay there and just let your, your mind go wild. I'm using this time to slow down my really fast pace of life. The next thing I want to recommend is playing games. I am seeing the most funniest shit on like social media. I think it's so cool that people are thinking out of the box when it comes to games. Of course, I will play like Snakes and Ladders and Two Men Dominoes and um, of course he also plays a lot on his phone um, games. Yeah, he's been keeping himself entertained with that game. Just super awesome and it's fun. The next thing I would recommend is to clean. I know everyone is cleaning and I know you are doing it. I would use my Saturdays to clean the whole house. But now that we are indoors, indoors for a number of days, we want to do us, we made a list of all of the chores. Obviously the kitchen needs to be cleaned every day and the bathroom is cleaned once a week. There are other chores and other cleaning areas that you can list down and then just stick off doing one a day. That's kind of keep me busy and me as well clean your day. 
and for people that are working, you guys as well <laughs> the cleaning. But yeah, make a list of all the areas you find that need to be cleaned, like the oven, for example, or the fridge. The next one is do some gardening. I don't have a yard, I live in an apartment, but I was very fortunate. But then for the lockdown, Cody and I had gone to Stodos because they had a 75% off on all the plants, obviously it was going to die. So we did a little bit of gardening inside our apartment, we've got plants right here in front of our like front door and into plants inside the house and it was so nice to just like tend to something other than myself <laughs> and i love plants i love gardening i saw one of my friends she used um wine corks and she drilled a hole like in the middle of it and then she put like a little succulent in there so those are some really crafty things that you can do with either your partner, your friend, or your your children that you self isolating with. So yeah, it's another idea that you guys can do. Is if you like photography, then try doing into photography. I find that I because I travel such a lot and you always like outdoors. Landscape photography is what we are prone to, but I was really using my skills, my photography skills, to do some indoor photography like taking pictures of the plants in detail and just upskill yourself if you are into photography i know everyone is doing this right now and that is to try a recipe or to start baking so many people are baking and trying go play uh, dishes which is so interesting and so fascinating i obviously cook every day and um I haven't baked yet through the lockdown because I'm still busy myself. But try new recipes. Scratch through those recipe books that you have on display in your house and go for it. One of the things that I'm currently doing also is journaling. And because I've got such a lot of feelings, all our feelings, and we all like to pop our feelings onto social media, I thought that journaling would be an awesome way to write down all my feelings, everything that I'm feeling and just get it all out on a piece of paper. Also, I'm looking at it as a sort of scrapbook of my life because nobody has gone through this um, type of pandemic before and maybe in a few years time I can open that book again and tell my children or um, nieces and nephews about what I've looked through. <laughs> be a really cool thing to do to revamp your interior so look at the area like your lounge or your study or your bedroom and just rearrange you know the whole layout i did this with my own study because now that i am at home and i'm sitting by like this every single day instead of just once a week <laughs> i rearranged that my table be in the middle of the room and not against the wall because I find the light just bounces much nicer um, in the afternoon and just like play it out with it like be creative and like put pillows here and put decorative things there and just like make your space more only. Another thing I'm doing is catching up on YouTube and I say this because I follow or subscribe to a lot of people that I enjoy and I never find the time to actually just sit and watch the videos in peace. So I'm using this time to catch up on some videos of my favorite YouTubers and supporting them as well just by clicking like or comment or subscribing to the channel. And that's another way to just pass by the time and also just to catch up on your favorite people that you enjoy watching. <laughs> Next thing I would recommend is doing a self-care day. So because we are so st we're stuck actually indoors and if one's talking about staying in their pajamas, the day pajamas and moving into the night pajamas, just do a sake day. Do your hair, paint your toenails, do a face mask, do you know, um, if you've got a partner, have must do massages for each other, just like pamper yourself. Another thing I would recommend is to just declutter anything. So whether it be detaching your carpet or an area that you find that you're just dumping a lot of your things in. One of the things I'm decluttering is my desktop. I have a crap load of pictures and documents that I just throw on my desktop and it's like, it's a bomb honestly. And I'm also decluttering my phone because I save so many images. Actually iCloud that you just told me that I need to upgrade 
my store hits and I'm like what why so use the time to just declutter those things that have just been ordered on a place do some admin now a lot of people heard doing admin I myself are doing admin and I have like a stack of papers that would just sit on my wine deck the whole time like months will go by and I just dump papers there if you've got a file start filing your stuff like it's really important I've got a folk file that is called the what if file and um, this woman Nikki Bush she has been passed away and one of the things that she found so frustrating was having all the documents in place and so she created this what if file with all the documents that you would need when your partner passed on and so I just bought a flip file and I'm keeping all those documents in there and I'm just making sure that it's all up to date so I'll link below um, the what if file of the documents that are super useful when your loved one is passing on and that you just take that file and you know that you have everything in it so that's awesome I'll link it below so work on your budget I know I know but also in a time where there is sensitivity a lot of us don't know what's going on with our jobs we don't know if the lockdown is going to be extended and so just seeing where you can cut um, in your budget would be useful to do something that you always wanted to work on or do one of the things I really wanted to work on was my Pinterest board and one of the things I found was that my Pinterest board or my Pinterest page whatever you want to work I knew you get a chance to I always move that little card for next month, next month, next month and it's been almost a year now is the time if you want to write that ebook and write that ebook start your blog if you're a traveler like me and you was traveling oh god I must have been taking long road on the road trip this is a virtual travel a lot of us are yearning to just do a travel trip so go through those travel magazines that you have and just sit and read through it and like put little sticky notes next to the places that you want to go to once this lockdown is done also follow the virtual travel is a there are various pages that you can go to and people are shooting of all the towns that they go to all the places that they go to and get involved in that one of the other things i would recommend is actually just catch up on sleep obviously our sleepy places are totally fucked but you know what take that afternoon nap take sleep longer if you need to but just really catch up on some sleep because once we are back at work it's back to a normal routine of waking up early early sleeping late and so you miss the times where you just lay in bed and just snuggle and in skype dates with your friends i know a lot of us don't want to i find it's a bit ugh it's not the same as like a face to face I be phoning my friends on Skype, checking in on them One of my friends, um, Jessica, we always had like a coffee date The first week of the lockdown, we were going to have a coffee date And so what we did was we, we had a sweet put our skirt on and we both had a coffee And it was so nice we were having a date virtually Book time, I would say, listen can I check you One thing I still want to do though is some crafting I never had a chance to craft this for using wine and their paint <laughs> But I don't like Facebook. Um, I'm watching a lot of DIY YouTube videos and I keep telling myself that I'm gonna do it, but it's simply something that I want to do still during this lockdown. Next thing is that drink wine, guys. Oh my gosh. I obviously think you do a shit ton of wine. Bruce, this is the opportunity to drink wine in the game. Just having a glass of wine, you know, on a Wednesday while I'm working. I'm never gonna get that chance again. Yeah, guys, that is some of the things that I have been doing during this lockdown. Let me know in the comments below what are the activities you are doing at the moment. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.